In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Docker on Windows Server. In the demo, I'll be installing Docker on Windows Server 2022, but the process should also work for previous Windows Server versions. Before installing Docker on Windows, there is something you need to be aware of. Docker on Windows Server is only for Windows containers. You can't run Linux containers on Windows Server. If you want to run Linux-based containers, you need to install Docker on a Linux machine, or you have to virtualize your Windows Server using Hyper-V and then install Docker on a Linux virtual machine. To install Docker Engine on Windows Server, Microsoft provides a PowerShell script. To find the script, first go to the Microsoft Learn website using the link in the description. On the webpage, go to the Windows Server section and you will find two PowerShell commands. The first command downloads the installation script and the second command executes the script to install Docker Engine. So, we will copy the first command and run it in a PowerShell console. Okay, the installation script has been downloaded. Now let's run it to install Docker. During the installation, if you see this error, stop the installation process by pressing Ctrl plus C and then run the script again. Docker installation requires a restart, so your Windows server will reboot automatically. After the restart, the installation process will resume automatically. Okay, the installation is complete. Let's run the docker version command to confirm. The docker version command confirms that the docker engine is installed on this computer. Now let's start a hello world container to verify that everything is working properly. If you see the message hello from Docker, that means your Docker engine is working properly. As I mentioned at the start of the video, you can only run Windows OS containers on Windows Server. You can find Windows-based OS images on the Docker Hub website. So here is the list of Windows-based OS images. Let's try for instance, the Windows Server 2022 core image. We'll copy this command and run it in a PowerShell console. I'll also be adding the minus D and minus T options to keep the container running in the background and allocate a pseudo terminal. Okay, the container has been created and the Docker PS command shows that we have a running container. Now let's connect to the container using the docker exec command. Here we're initiating an interactive session with the container using the minus IT options, connecting to the PowerShell console within the container. We are now inside the container. Let's check which OS version this is. So here we have a Windows Server 2022 data center container running on Docker Engine. And that concludes this video. If you're interested in learning more about creating Docker containers, be sure to check out our video on the Docker Run command. You can find the link in the description.